Today, I want to talk to you about something near and dear to RVers' hearts, or butts. We're going to talk about our potties. Let's get our potty on right now. It doesn't matter if you're driving a super duper deluxe land yacht, a self-built van, cargo trailer, or schoolie. It doesn't matter if your RV is old like mine or brand spanking new. Whether you're driving a Class A, a Class B, or a Class C, it doesn't matter. We all need to go to the bathroom. Most RVs come with your standard RV toilet. The kind that you step on to flush, the water pump in your RV comes on to flush the toilet, and everything disappears into your black tank until your tank is full, and then you go to the sandy dump and dump it. I have no personal problem dealing with the black tank. It really doesn't bother me. I've had five kids and I've changed a lot of diapers. I know all about poop and pee. But I know that there are some people who do not like dealing with the black tank. And those people, I feel sorry for. Because when you live in an RV, you have to deal with your poop and pee. It's just a fact of life. You probably shouldn't be living in an RV. I'm just saying. <laughs> How you choose to deal with your poop and pee is a personal choice, and there are several ways that you have to choose from. First, there's the regular RV toilet that comes in our RVs. While I don't have any issues with dealing with the black tank, I do have issues with having to pay to drain the black tank. And it's getting harder and harder to find places where you can dump your tanks for free. Installing a composting toilet is an option that many RVers are choosing. They're a little pricey, but if that's what you choose to use, go for it. For people like me, I'm not gonna spend $1,500 to put in a composting toilet in an RV that is 28 years old. That's just crazy. You can also build your own composting toilet, and if you are building out a van or a cargo trailer or a schoolie, that would be an option for you to look at. I'd like to share with you today a different option that you may not have thought about because I haven't seen it anywhere on the internet. So I'm just gonna put this out there. Why not make your regular RV toilet into a composting toilet? Plus when you want to go out boondocking and you want to conserve the space in your black tank so that you can stay out longer, this is another option you can use. So without further ado, let me show you how I turn my regular RV toilet into a composting toilet. Let's head back into Honey's bathroom and I'll show you how to do this. Welcome to Honey's bathroom. This is Honey's toilet. It's the original toilet that was installed in Honey 28 years ago. It still works just fine. No problems, no issues. Still use it. I don't want to get rid of it. So what do I do? to make my black tank last longer when I'm out boondocking, as well as cutting down on how many times I have to actually go to a sandy dump to dump the tank and thus saving money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the regular RV toilet in Honey like a composting toilet. To do this, the first thing you need is some compostable garbage bags. These ones I got at Home Depot. They are by BioSac and I'll leave a link down below to them where you can find them on Amazon. And these ones are the 13 gallon or 51 liter bags and you need that size in order to fit around the top of the toilet seat. They come in a roll in the box and you need to be careful when you take them off because they are very delicate bags and you don't want to rip them too much because it will rip the bag. So you need to be careful when you tear along the perforation that you don't actually rip the bag. You open up the bag all the way to the bottom, lift up the seat part of your toilet, and you're going to put the bag in this part. You want to make sure the bag is all the way to the bottom and as much of the excess is up around the edge of the toilet. Then we're going to put in some wood chips which 
I'm just using the kind that you get for a hamster or a gerbil that you can pick up at Walmart or a pet store or probably a feed store. This stuff is not expensive and it does go a long way because it's quite compacted. You can also use cat litter, coconut core, or you could even use leaves or dirt, whatever you like. You just need some kind of fibrous material to go in here that is going to aid in the composting. So we take some of this. I usually put it into a bucket, but I wanted to show you the bag. And we take a little bit of this and we maybe a couple handfuls and you put it into your toilet. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. You want to try to push as much of the air out from around the edges. Your composting toilet is now ready to use. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Every time you use the toilet, for number two, you add another handful of the litter. If you're a solo RVer, then this method should work really well for you. If you have to deal with somebody else's mess, maybe not so much. And you might want to get something like this product, which is a smell grabber. It's a deodorizer that you can use in your compost buckets, so it's biodegradable. You may want to change the bag every day, or you may be able to get away with a few days. It really depends on how often you use it. What do you do with your waste? You throw it in the garbage. Some people will say, ooh, throwing your bags of poo in the garbage? That's gross. But you know what? We throw bags of dog poo in the garbage. We throw baby diapers full of poo in the garbage. I have a garbage can that I keep in the bathroom that is specifically for toilet paper. It has a lid and keeps everything sealed up tight. When you're ready to change the bag in your toilet, you simply take it out, tie a knot in it, and throw it into the garbage can. So I've showed you how to use your RV toilet as a composting toilet. You don't usually go number one in the composting toilet. You only use it for number two. Most manufactured composting toilets have a separator, the liquids and the solids. Well, we don't have this on this one. So what are we gonna do? If you're a guy, you can go outside, find a tree or a private spot. But for us girls, it's a little bit more involved. We have to bear it all to pee in the bush. I've spent a lot of time in the bush and have had to perfect the bush squat. This product is called Go Girl and it is the great equalizer. It has nothing to do with envy of any kind. It comes in this nice little tube and inside is a little piece of toilet paper. And this is a Go Girl. It's a little funnel. It's made out of silicone, so it's squishy. This will make it much easier for you as a girl to go pee in the bush. Not only in the bush, but in your RV. This little product is pretty amazing. You place it against your body and pee through it. I'll do a demonstration, but not on myself, on Gretchen. You hold it like this, not like this. You place it where you need it, you want to seal it up against your body, and then you pee. It's a funnel for your pee. If you're in an RV and you want to use this to save your black tank, you can use it outside or you can use it into a container. I use this one, which I have labeled so that I know it's not for making juice or putting cereal in or something. Just open it up, you place it where you need to use it, and in it goes, and there you just pee into this container because it has a small opening, it doesn't splash up on you. Seal it, put it aside. The next time you stop at a gas station or a rest area, stick it in your purse, take it inside, dump it out, rinse it, and you're good to go. These, you just can stick back into the plastic bag that it comes with. And next time you're in the bathroom, you can rinse it out and let it dry. You can even roll it back up and put it into the tube that it came in to keep it clean.